glue can be messy, difficult to control, and uneven. This is especially true for quick drying adhesives like super glue. These issues can affect the quality of your work, especially when you are trying to attach thin wood trims to metal surfaces. So, if you aren't careful enough, the whole thing may come out looking messy and amateurish. The good news is that there are ways to avoid all these problems, as you have an alternative like double faced gum tape. Double sided gum tape is one of my favorites as it will work like an adhesive and will hold the wood to the metal without any screws or nails. Moreover, it is easy to work with as you just need to peel off the tape and stick it on the surface. Just make sure you use good quality tape so that it can hold the wood securely in place. Also, ensure that you do not use heavy or thick wood that needs to be glued, these may not stick well to metal surfaces. A double-faced gum tape tends to work fine for smaller projects that involve veneers, inlays, or thin trims that need to be joined to aluminum or thin steel sheets. Attaching wood to metal without using glue or screws can also be achieved through these methods. Magnetic paint. You can use magnetic paint on the metal surface, turning it into a magnetic surface. Then, attach small magnets to the wood. This method allows you to remove and reattach the wood easily. Magnetic tape. Similar to magnets, magnetic tape can be applied to the metal surface and corresponding pieces attached to the wood. It provides a less permanent solution compared to screws or glue. If your application allows for it, you could also use magnetic clasps or catches to hold the wood in place. Velcro strips. Industrial strength Velcro strips can be used to attach wood to somewhat heavy metal pieces. Ensure that you choose a type with enough weight capacity to support the load you intend to place on the wood. Clamps or brackets. Use clamps or brackets to secure the wood to the heavy metals. This may involve some drilling but it avoids directly attaching the wood with screws. You can remove the clamps or brackets if needed. Interlocking joints. Design the wood and metal parts in such a way that they interlock. This could be a more complex solution, requiring precision in design and construction. Remember to consider the weight, size, and purpose of the objects you're attaching, as some of these methods may not be suitable for heavy loads or permanent installations. Always follow safety guidelines and ensure that whatever method you choose is secure and reliable for your specific use case. And those were all the innovative ways to bond wood to metal without glue or screws. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. For more helpful tips and ideas on painting, please visit my site at repaintnow.com.